Well, there was a cost of the treatment, there was a cost of accommodation, there was a cost of me not working for the 10 months. Um, there was a lot of emotional cost of, of Lily actually having to be brave enough to give up a year of her life to move away from what was her secure environment to access treatment. That was really difficult for her. Uh, there was a cost of trying to keep our family involved in supporting and believing her by having them be part and be present at times during the course of the treatment. My then husband stayed in Hobart. Lily had a boyfriend who she was really close to who stayed in Hobart and I had a daughter in Melbourne and a son and a niece up here. So my husband used to come up every three weeks. Um, Lily's boyfriend, we used to try and get him up for every th three weeks, three or four weeks. And me, who was living in Melbourne, used to come up when she could. But my son was close by, so we decided we'd find accommodation close by, which wasn't close to where she was accessing treatment, but it was still close to having a support team for her and for I. And my niece lived near him as well. Well, I think they, you know, go from one healthcare professional to another and their illness dominates their lives for a much longer period of time. They get more physically debilitated by their illness and then the consequences of that is the health department then has them to look after for physical and mental reasons ongoingly. They get in and out of psych wards and you know, sadly, some people take their lives because there's no other option for them to get any relief of the fear that they live with.